Work has finished for the week. It is Friday and it is a bank holiday so I'm not back in work until Tuesday. Uh, I've got a few different stops that I need to do today um, before I get home. I have um, I've just been picked up the fruit and veg. That's what's in the bags back there for the week and I've now gonna go and drop off my sister's anniversary card because she, she's been married five years today. So you go and drop off their anniversary card and then I've got a nip to Morrison's um, to do some cash back shopping, which I'll explain more when I get there. So I have just finished up at Morrison's and I've just actually drove around to the very back of the car park because where I was parked there was lots of people around me and I thought they would look weird at me if I was doing it, doing talking to the camera in front of them. So back of the car park and um, I've come to Morrison's because I am using this cashback app. I'm using a couple of cashback apps at the minute. I'm trying to become one of those extreme coupons. Well, not really, but I'm using this app it's called Checkout Smart, okay? So it's this one here. And when you open it up, it gives you all of these offers of things. Now, at the minute, it has a free offer, an offer for a free Greek yogurt. So I've just been in and picked up my free Greek yogurt. Um, I will get my money back on that. And the other things that I picked up in Morrison's are these home pride bakes okay so it's these things now I came yesterday and I got one of each I hadn't realized that you could get 10 of each and the offer is you get 95 pence back per per packet of whatever that is pasta sauce it's pasta sauce and Morrison's are selling them two for two pound, which means they're a pound each. So I get 95 pence back, which means that they're actually only five pence each. Which means in the last two days, I've got 20 packs of pasta sauce for a quid. Um, and to claim the cash back, it is very easy. You just click on this claim button. It asks where you've been. So me, I've been to Morrison's. It then asks when, today, and then it asks you to select what it is you're claiming back. So I'm claiming back a free yoghurt. And then I'll scroll down, find the cash backs. I'm claiming back nine of those and nine of those. See? And then click on next. It asks you to take a picture of the receipt. There we go, it just took the picture, use the photo, upload receipt. And it's as simple as that. Next, I am going to head up to Sainsbury's. They have got another offer on there at the moment that I've just found. And it's for a free can of drink, which isn't, you know, it's not like, not going to change my world. So I'm going to head up to Sainsbury's to see if I can grab them. And then I've got to go and get um, some prescriptions. So it is a busy Friday. Um, but I bet you by the time I come out with Sainsbury's, that, or at least by the time I come out with the pharmacy, that cashback claim will already have been processed. So I've just been to the chemist and um, I have to say I'm getting really fed up with my chemist. They recently seem to have gone way downhill and we've been with them for years so I don't like to bash them but every time we go for a prescription there and in my family we go through a lot of medication which isn't something to be proud of but it's just a fact um, there's always a problem with one at least one of us so the problem today is I managed to get dads I managed to get mums and mine's not there so I have to wait till Tuesday so I need to go home and fudge together enough pills to keep me going till Tuesday. Um, one thing is though, while I was in the chemist, I got the email from Checkout Smart and my cash back has been authorized. It should cost me um, 18 pound, yeah, 18 pound 10, 19 pound 10. Um, I got cash back today 
in the amount of £18.10. So the yoghurt and all of those, um, all of those um, pasta sauces has cost me £1, which is crazy. Um, I will unstack them when I get in and you will see how crazy it is that I got all of that stuff for one pound. But now that it has been accepted, I can just click account balance, request payment. Are you sure you want to request your payment? Yes, I do. Thank you, your payment request has been received. We aim to process payments within seven days and an email confirmation will be sent to you once the payment has been processed. So now I've got to eat a lot of pasta. <laughs> because I've got a lot of pasta sauce to get through. I've decided, since it is a bank holiday, and uh, I love being in here so much, and, let me knock that off, and because I didn't get a great night's sleep last night, because Miss Leisha, God bless her, had earache, and spent the most of the night flapping her ears, which does not make for a nice, peaceful environment to sleep in. So, ears got cleaned this morning, they're a lot better now, but because it is bank holiday, I figured I'm gonna spend this weekend in the caravan, even though it's on the driveway. It's not gone anywhere, but I do get much better night sleeping here. Um, I love being in here. I've brought my laptop, to watch some Dr. Phil. I am obsessed with the man. The man is a guru. The dude is awesome. <laughs> um, he comes out with some really, really good um, ideas and things. I do like Dr. Phil. Anyway, I'm not going to start Dr. Phil fan club. But I'm going to watch me some Dr. Phil, maybe a movie. I've got the birth sampler that I am still working on finishing for Goddaughter, who's coming this month. And uh, yeah, tomorrow um, I think I've got to go to Langham in the morning, which is just, it's a small town in the Scottish borders. Um, a friend of my granddad's lives there and my mum wants to go and visit, so as the driver uh, I have to take them. And the football is in the afternoon and it is the last chance to get into the playoffs. Um, Carlisle United have to win and the teams above us have to lose. If we win and one of the teams above us win, it is all over. So we have to win and they have to lose. But anyway, I'm going to get myself settled in for the night. So uh, I shall see you on Saturday. So it is Saturday and it is match time. I have the match on, fingers crossed. We have to win. Nothing else will matter. We have to win and fingers are crossed. I'd like to say that I think we're going to make it, but I'm not that positive today, so I don't think we are, but, you know, I'd love to be proven wrong, but I've got my Carlisle United shirt on, and, yeah, fingers crossed. Come on, the Blues. Two hours later. Uh, the football season is over. Um, Carlisle only managed to draw, but the teams above us did what they needed to do anyway, so even if we had one, it would have made no difference whatsoever. So, season's over, um, been a good one, been ups, been downs, been downs, been downs, been downs, some more ups, some more downs, but that's what happens when you're a Carlisle United fan. So, nearly finished, sampler one, get that done, start on sampler two, and then uh, another night in the caravan tonight, and uh, yeah. Hope for some rain tonight. Rain would be good. I'd like to use some rain when I'm trying to sleep. That would be nice. So I'm about to head to bed. Um, in the caravan, of course. But before I do, Madam here is e rake. So she needs her ears cleaned again. Don't you? You've got a sore ear. You've got a sore ear. Let me see. Is it that one? Yeah, that one's fine, isn't it? Yeah, that one's sore. All right, you then. Mm. 
That's a good chunk that I got out. Yeah. Oh, she was such a good girl. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Do you still love it? Hmm? No. Leisha. Do you still love it? Oh, poor baby. Back in the van, gonna settle down for the night and I broke a nail. My nail came off. So I'm gonna have to get that fixed on Tuesday or Wednesday, which is a bit of a bummer. Thankfully it didn't hurt, so that's not too bad. Um, I have brought back in the van with me my cross stitch. I've actually started on the second one because I've finished the first. Um, well, I say it's finished. It's finished until baby comes because when baby's name comes, that's when I put in the details. But until then, it's not very easy to see in this light. There, if I hold it that way, it's a bit easier. Um, yeah, so that is done. I've just got to put baby's name, where date she was born in the middle. And now I've started on this one for uh, my colleague's baby who is due in about eight weeks, seven weeks, something like that. So I've got it here, made a start on it. Shouldn't take as long to do. It's not as stitch intensive as the last one was, but I am gonna turn in for the night. It was quite cold in here last night. If it, I was, my hands were out from under the covers, so I need to get my hands in the under the covers and snuggle in and be all nice and warm, which I was in the end last night. So, um, yeah, another good night's sleep, hopefully. And uh, I'm going to end this vlog here. So until the next one, I'll just say keep safe and keep smiling, and bash on that subscribe button if you haven't already. And until then, bye guys.